Good afternoon, Valley View students, and welcome to another episode of VSPN. We hope you're enjoying your day so far. If you didn't receive an agenda in your first period class, go to the main office to receive one. You need your agenda to be signed by your teacher in order to leave during class. Everyone, please make sure to double check the information on your student ID card. If there are any mistakes, please visit the main office between classes to get it fixed. Remember that if your ID card is lost, damaged, or confiscated, you must pay the bookkeeper $5 during her posted hours in order to get it replaced. Our cross-country team had a race on Saturday against the Warhawks. The girls won the meet with Angie Hernandez in second place, Brianna Castaneda in fourth, <laughs> Kayla Tafoya in fifth, Olivia Willem Williamson in seventh, Mia Williams in eighth, Miriam Arcimendi in ninth, and Daniela Gonzalez in tenth. The boys placed second with same finish in second place. Jamar Gowen took fourth, and Aaron Williamson in ninth. The next race is this Saturday against Columbia. Go Falcons! Last Friday, our Falcons took to the gridiron against our rivals that wear orange and black. The game started out with a tribute to the attacks on 9-11, with Gage Bain wearing number 9 and Cameron Dean wearing number 11, leading the Falcons out onto the field. The competition itself on the field was a bit lopsided in the Falcons' favor, with the Falcons winning 41-14. to Offensively, the Falcons were led by junior Casey Cope, who was 13-20 for 20 in the air, scoring two touchdowns with Dean and Braden Airy receiving. On the ground, Cope was 13 rushes for 96 yards with one touchdown. Junior Santiago Diaz led the team with three touchdowns on the 18 carries for 78 yards. Defensively, the Falcons stifled that other team's offense with a team total of 72 tackles, four sacks, and one interception. The defense was led by senior James Streit with 10 tackles and one of those for a loss of yards. Airy was not far behind with nine tackles, two of those for loss, and one and a half half sacks. Sophomore Canyon Hyde was our Falcon with the interception while contributing seven tackles. The Falcons are ranked number nine overall in the state and number three in the 4A classification. The varsity football Falcons are home again this Friday against Middleton in a SIC match, and you don't want to miss it. The freshman team hosts Middleton tonight at 6 p.m. while the JV team travels to Middleton on Thursday. Remember, for the varsity game, you can pick up tickets at the bookkeeper's office while available or watch all the games online at nfhsnetwork.com. Our Falcons men's soccer team kicked off their season yesterday at home hosting Nampa. Your JV Falcons won their game 2-1 to one while it was senior night for our varsity Falcons and they celebrated in amazing fashion dominating the Bulldogs 8-0. The men's soccer team travels to Bishop Kelly on Thursday to take on the Knights. Our Lady Falcons traveled across the county <laughs> to take on the Bulldogs of Nampa in a soccer match. Both of our squads walked away with a dub with the JV winning 4-0 and the varsity winning 3-0. Our Lady Falcons are at home this Thursday taking on the top-ranked Bishop Kelly Knights, so make sure to go out and cheer them on. JV starts at 4.30 and varsity starts at 6. Last night, our volleyball players took on the Bishop Kelly Knights. Our Frosh came out on top with 2-0 sets, while the JV lost 0-2 sets. The varsity Falcons fought hard and lost a very close match with 5 sets. The volleyball team has a tournament this Saturday at Parma. Great job to our Lady Falcons. And that's going to be all for today's episode of ESPN. Thanks for tuning in and have a wonderful rest of your Wednesdays.